Hi, beautiful. If there's one thing that TikTok knows how to do best, it's people doing some spooky ass sh to their hair and just making me scared. These TikToks leave me at a loss for words. So let's watch some extra spooktacular TikToks that have to do with people completely demolishing their hair. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, I've got this stuck in my hair. I don't know what I've done and I don't know why I did it. I was just, I'm gonna have to cut it out. <laughs> How did that even happen? Why were you wrapping your hair in a comb like that? Don't do that. Wrapping your hair in a comb like that is a recipe for disaster, but also you can always get a comb out. You can always get a brush out of your hair. It might take a long time, but like you can always do it. The answer is not to cut it out. No. What do I do? Guys, this is actually a problem. <laughs> okay, what you do is you start taking one strand out of the comb at a time. This is gonna take forever, but if you don't wanna lose the entire front section of your hair, you're gonna need to do the most. You're gonna need to spend a couple hours doing this, taking this out of your hair. The secret is to just not pull hard on anything. Don't get frustrated. And that's the hardest thing to do is to not get frustrated when this happens. I'm run it under some water, see if that works. It's safe to say that didn't work. I had to put conditioner in it. I don't think that helped. I've got one piece out. Um. Okay, wait, so the conditioner was a good idea, but the next thing I would do is probably snap the comb. I feel like I would snap the comb in half, put more conditioner in it. I feel like it would just come out. What seems to be the issue here? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> no! Yo, you're really cutting that. Why? That would be the last resort. Time. Ooh, I said I wanted bangs, but not like this. <laughs> what do you want me to do now? Okay, no. Oh, <laughs> what the f? Ah. <sighs> Okay, honestly, for like what she just went through, it could have been a lot worse at the end. Like, at least that look is somewhat wearable and she can get a bang or like just push it to the side, but that was unfortunate. Don't do that at home. Don't put a comb in your hair and start twisting it. It's always a bad idea. This is a message to me 30 minutes ago. Um, <laughs> what's going on in your face? Uh, when you're washing out black hair dye, lean backwards, not forwards. I know that you were panicking because of how black the sink turned. Well, wait until you see the shower. Girl, what? How? What black color does that? Why? I've never seen such a thing. There's always more. It never ends. And wait until you see the rest of your body. Shut the f up. Wait a second. Wait a second, you guys. I thought this entire time she was wearing gloves. She is not wearing gloves. Her hands are fully colored black. How porous is your skin? That makes no sense. Their entire body, their legs are colored with black. I don't even know because I don't know how that happened to you. And um, all I have to say is like bathe yourself in rubbing alcohol or hair color remover. This is giving me anxiety. Like getting color all over the place is it's so painfully annoying to wash off your sink and your shower. And like, if there's one thing I could eliminate from, from hair color, it's the mess that it makes. It's so irritating. It's actually making me angry and frustrated watching this video. I'm moving on. Girl's got a lot of gel on there. Whew. This is painful, but also very satisfying at the same time. RIP to her edges. Whew. Girl, give me the link to whatever product you use because that sh that is good stuff. <laughs> Something tells me she used like that Gorilla Glue product. Like that's the only thing I could think of that makes her hair like this. Unless she put like Mod Podge in her hair, but I am intrigued. I am enjoying this more than I thought I would. Also, can we talk about the talent? Whoever put this look together, those finger waves are mm, popping, baby. Okay, 
Those little pieces of glue on your head, please just leave it. Or shampoo your hair like 10 times. I'm kind of sad she didn't show us like the outcome. I can't tell if that was satisfying or horrible. Mm -hmm. Undecided. So I bleached the hair yesterday and everything was fine. It went well. As you can see, it worked. And I'm combing it out so you guys can see. And the fallout on the comb was very little. I am probably going to regret this. <laughs> Feeling better now. Stop. Stop with the relaxers on the bleached hair. Please, guys, if you have bleached hair, don't put a relaxer over it. It's the worst idea. No, oh, they're two of the most severe things you can do to your hair. And you don't want to do both of them. What is life without taking a risk? <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> so I don't know if I should laugh or I should cry. Her hair is falling out it is crumbling off of her head you poor thing no listen let's i'm not supposed to relax my hair after bleaching <laughs> well, so guys this is the epic feel and i hope i've not closed my my my, my pores and my hair will grow back don't ever do that again You were literally leaning into the fire. What? Where was the logic there? Why was this woman recording her hair going into the fire? What was this? Like, don't do that. Don't try to trick me. Was this planned? to cut a bowl cut. Contrary to popular belief, the phrase bowl cut did not come about because people actually put bowls on the top of their head to cut a bowl. It's just because the cut looks like a bowl, not because the cut was made with the bowl. He kind of slayed that. There is such thing as too much lightener on my head. And when it starts to foam like this, when you get a foamy, crazy thing going on, you know there's probably about to be some breakage. Take it off. When that lightener starts to get really warm and really puffy, mm, and that hair starts to get nice and clear white, time to take it off and I hope for the best. Been there, done that. Never again. I know some of you are fans of the micro bangs that I tend to rock and some of you aren't. Um, that's fine, regardless. I got a new pair of scissors and I've been using the same old dull pair of scissors for a couple of years and these ones were much sharper. Where is this going? <laughs> They're definitely there. They're definitely babies. Bang. They're babes. Bangs, baby. Baby girl bangs. They are short. <laughs> They're actually almost invisible. They're so short. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Baby, don't wear them like that. That's. That's. <laughs> That's a no for me. <laughs> Very cute. That's okay. They'll grow back in like a month. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Expecting like a little piece of breakage in her hair or something like that. I wasn't expecting Reese's a Reese's cup design on the top of her head. Who the hell? What did you ask for? I would just shave my head at that point, girl. Get your money back, baby. Oh my god. Wow, that's bad. I'm sorry, I don't mean to make you feel worse, but like that's bad. I would have sued. Call the damn lawyers by my last bit of money to sue. That should not be allowed. That should not be legal. No. Okay, before she's done with this, this look is not for everybody. I already, I feel like I know where this is going. Listen, she's serving. 
something something and she's giving us vibes but like this look there was one girl who did it or there's multiple girls but like there's one main girl who did this look this Farrah Fawcett thing and then everybody tried to do it and it's just like unless you have like the perfect hair texture for this and it's a little longer and a little more shaggy it'll look great but it doesn't work on everybody and for in this instance it was a fail it was a complete and utter fail babe I'm sorry but when they said Farrah Fawcett that's not what they were talking about it's just it's not it <laughs> Why is she looking shocked? The only person in shock should be me. Because you, you had the scissors and you did the cut and you made that choice. There's no sense of shock that should show up on your damn face. <laughs> that sucks. Those bangs are gonna be hard to hide. Breaks at the f flat iron to give it a little bevel because the little bevel might fix it. The little <laughs> no. I mean, the main thing she's doing wrong right now is she didn't pull the hair to the front and her hair is so straight. I just feel this is, mm. Okay, it's the reveal moment, let's see. Kill me. This is fixable. This is fixable. It's gonna be okay. So let's just take a breath. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm feeling better now. Um, you just need to style it. I feel like you could rock this. It's gonna be fine. A little bit of thinning, a little bit of shaping, a little bit of a blowout, a little, a lot of shit. Fingers crossed for you that things got better after this. Oh no. Well, that was traumatizing. If you wanna check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmonohair.com. That's all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time.